Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Sean from 4 Eyes Furniture. And today we're going to be reacting to famous woodworking scenes from TV and movies. I could say that better. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead from 1993. Oh, they're gonna be at they're school, like I school, get it. Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. So you slowly feed the board through the saw, being extremely careful to keep your hands at a safe distance from the blade. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a cartoon, but that scared me. First off, that fence is extremely like low and almost non-existent. I wanna watch like. that again. So it's like, it looks like it's the like fence in a miter is in the slot. miter slot. I mean, I first know. of all, it's not touching the fence, so that's yeah. that's his first problem. And yeah. watch his hands. Oh my god. Yeah, so He's here, let's just pause it there and talk about that part. So <laughs> the fence doesn't exist, which is a very integral part to a table <laughs> a, saw. A rip cut. Yeah, um, it looks like it's just like something jammed into the miter slot wow. of it. It wasn't touching it, so he was just like freehand pushing it through, which you would never do. And he also, if there was supposed to be a fence there, then he pushed he was the remainder the, of the cut through with the wrong the, hand. Yeah. You'd have to push it through with the hand that's in between the fence and the blade, not the hand that's on the off cut. He of was, the he was jonesing for a heavy kickback. Yeah. And it was going to go straight into his gut. Yeah, kickback is when the, the blade catches the backside of the wood and throws it back at the person operating the table saw at like... 80 miles an hour. Also, his advice, he was saying, you want to push the wood through the table saw very slowly, where you wouldn't want to do that. That would cause burning. If anything, you want to push through at kind of the pace that the blade dictates. Like, you can kind of feel it pushing back at you, and that lets you feel if you're pushing too fast or too slow. Okay, now remember, these safety goggles must be worn at all times. That's now good advice. To work. I want those birdhouses done by Friday. Now remember, when you put the room on the bird, Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, that whole scene gave me anxiety watching it. When they were putting all those things through, especially that first shot where they are putting wood through the saw and he's like yeah, holding like it like this and he like cuts off a corner of it. If you were to like grab a piece of wood and hold it like this and stick it into the table saw, it would like slam it down. It would like suck it down into the top and crush your hands under it because it's like grabbing and pulling really aggressively. What's your grade for that one? Ew, are we going for accuracy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. A D? I don't know. Yeah, that was, a, that was a straight but... F. That one, <laughs> okay. that one was, uh, was horribly inaccurate and okay. terrible in, in every way, but it was funny. But within the context of Beavis and Butthead, it was an A. It was perfect, yeah. Although the best part of that show was like the music videos. True. I'd just like to skip over all that stuff and just watch them watch videos. True. This one's from the 1984 movie, The Natural. All right, here we go. It looked like, what, lightning struck a tree and it fell down and then he immediately made a bat out of it, which I think that would be not a good idea because within like a few days, it would the bat would be like a hook. So basically, it typically would, they would <laughs> chop it down, it's a big log, they slice it into planks and then that has to dry either in a kiln if you wanna make it happen faster or outside for like years. So if you just built something out of wood that had just fallen, the moisture is gonna to continue to acclimate to the environment and it's gonna end up warping significantly. Kind of speaking to that, you, you want a nice straight bat. He shaped that thing by hand and you know, a bat would usually be turned on a lathe because yeah. you want it to be perfectly uh, symmetrical and cylindrical. I'm gonna guess, and I have not seen the natural, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess if he were to go out and try and play with that bat, he's not gonna be Breaking his... lights? Isn't that that movie where he, oh, where he hits, hits the, it and it hits breaks the light? The light? Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. probably a different bat because I'm assuming that's much later. And he, oh, maybe not. Maybe he keeps Wonder Boy with him. I don't know. Regardless of how nice his bat comes out and if it's dry wood or whatever, the actual making it and using different tools, I give that an A. Yeah, same. And I'll not even fault them for the drying process because that'd be a really boring montage <laughs> in a movie. Yeah. 
All right, from 2013, Breaking Bad. Yeah, that one, it seemed like they hired an actual like woodworker to build a box and they did all tight shots and then they got Jesse at was, the end there. That was so well done. Yeah, the only thing is, so the, the joint that I saw him making was a mortise and tenon. Um, there was also like a, it looked like a rabbit. That was a big yeah. tenon to yeah. be in that little box. It was kind of like, that would be like a more construction yeah. type joint um, or for or like, like something a, that's like going to be- In like a chair. Or yeah, a, load bearing. Yeah. Um, and he was building a little tiny box, but he built this like pretty beefy joint for it. So I wasn't sure where that went in there, but like I could see why they did it because it it's something that even not knowing about woodworking, you can quickly see and like understand yeah. like, you know, Visually, male, it's, female it's very, essentially is. The dimly lit dusty yes. room. And that that's maybe the most unrealistic part of all these no one is in a no. a non-lit room trying to do stuff like that you need to be able to see so that's the only that's the only thing i would give that a, a negative it's obviously such a dramatized serene yeah. version of it that or it's, like a it's, romanticized it's, it's, yeah to a silly degree yeah but, but i get it and so a plus a plus all right this is never have i ever from netflix oh he's got a no <laughs> it's not a mirka <laughs> That's a DeWalt. That's, yeah. that's a Sandra I used to have. I mean, this is a joke. They're hamming it up, obviously. Okay, so he's got a wobbly table yeah, yeah, and yeah. he wants to fix it. It looks like what is happening is he's taken the one leg off. Yeah, off, which- Because it's like in a vice or something. So you would not need to do that. Right. Yeah. He's just standing one foot. foot. Of the two that are I there. I guess. It could work if like you just happened to get lucky and remove the right amount. If I were to do this, I wouldn't take the table apart. He also has his shirt off in the wood shop, which I don't think is a good idea. Yeah, one of those sanding discs comes flying off, it could rip your nipple off. Right, yeah, but it's funny, he has his shirt off, but he's wearing eye, eye protection. Yeah. Well, so that is maybe, the most safe. Well, yeah, maybe he didn't want to, if he had um, maybe a baggy shirt on or something, yeah, he was going to potentially get caught. I like this the shot blowing. too, the blowing off of the, there's a ton of, of sawdust. Still well, you can see it. they like backlit it <laughs> yeah. so that you can see yeah. all the sawdust. Yeah, and, and then boom, it, he sets it down and it's perfect. I'm gonna give that one a C. Yeah, I think Minus. I'm gonna give it a C plus only because it's pretty sexy. Okay. <laughs> Next up from the year 2000, meet the parents. Here we go. Wow, looks like somebody got an A in Woodshop. <laughs> That's taking forever to build. Yeah, not too bad, about 70 hours. Which isn't bad considering I carved it all by hand from one piece of wood. 70 hours. Carved it all from one piece of wood by hand. It's funny that he says that because that's, that's... That's, yeah. I used to think that like all furniture, this was, I, I was Last year. five years old, yeah. bear in mind. It was basically like, I pictured a log and then you just removed all the parts you didn't want to be there and that's how furniture was made. But that thing, since it was like, probably seven feet wide and yeah, he would need like a giant redwood tree or something and you'd be removing 99 yeah. percent of the wood and also 70 hours but even if he just hand carved that whole thing out of many pieces of wood 70 hours is like insanely low amount of time yeah that'd be really quick like what about the shop itself his tool wall yeah i felt like they did like a a, a good job of framing it in a way where you don't have to actually yeah. have a there's, bunch of big tools, well, but you, like it still feels like a wood. You shop. can see like there's a lathe right yeah. here in the front. I mean, he, there's like paintbrush. Oh, there's some chisels down there and some files and stuff. So yeah, it, it, it's not bad. I will give this one a B minus. I'm like I, the timing yeah. thing was vague and yeah. it was hard to tell what joke they were I'd going get, for. I'm going to give it just a straight B. I think it's. I think the shop looks pretty good, and then some of the yeah, there were a few little missteps. This one is 2013 Portlandia. You do remember this. Yes. I, I have watched this show. I don't remember specifically this, but. Somebody that builds furniture could build your whole house for you. And then he could build all the furniture to go in the house. <laughs> 
the reason I remember that is because I had filmed the thing where we did that, where like I made all the noises with my mouth. And then I saw this, I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> I guess I'll never get I to use that. How much do you relate to that? Like the concept of like, oh, he makes furniture. Oh, that's so cool. Actually, I don't think girls really think that they'd be interested in a guy because there's a fantasy that he's going to build all the furniture. Someone who's handy and builds yeah, stuff. Maybe. There's that when people have asked, oh, what do you do? And I say, I make furniture. They say, wow, that's so cool. So I think there, there's a little bit of that. Obviously, this is amped up, but yeah. what about the actual woodworking? After this, just using real tools yeah. and <laughs> seem, seem. it was rounding over yeah. the... <laughs> <laughs> nice miter saw cut. And it's hard to fault them like when you see the end product, because <laughs> even if you were like, oh, that wasn't... Re you'd be like, well, look at the end product. Look at the, look at the wasn't chair. Very good. Uh, that was A. Yeah, I give it an A for comedy. I give it a B for woodworking. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Next up is CBS's NCIS, which ran from 2003 until now, In apparently. Indefinitely. <laughs> Dimly lit. Yep. The old once, trope. Once again, he's got a big light right on his work. Though. It's always backlit, so you yeah. can see like... The dust. Which actually oh. is a cool shot, I will say, for... Uh, yeah, we should actually start doing more of I've these. I've done some. He's gonna get dust in his coffee. Oh, a little shellac. What if, like, as soon as he finished, the music cuts out and he realizes, like, oh crap, I just built a huge boat, like... In my basement, I can't <laughs> yeah, get it out. I can't get it out. So, I get why they do it, but there's a unrealistic bias towards hand mm -hmm. tools of in course. all of these videos where in real life there's a lot less spoke shaving going on than there is table sawing yeah. going on in real life the thing that struck me um watching this one and then i started to think about the previous like there's a set decoration team that has to actually build this stuff I, so, yeah i was thinking the same thing like some guy had to build a boat yeah like so the, they can do and, this, and scene. this one especially because it showed the progression of the mm -hmm. entire build and it, so like it was wild. Like yeah. the, even if the boat, commission a boat Yeah, even if it wasn't seaworthy at the end, but just to make it look that good, it takes some serious yeah. skill and props, props to, to the props. prop builder. <laughs> the scene from the show, how he's using this boat to connect with people. The younger woman had like a chisel and a hammer and like knocked off a chunk of wood. And it, I kind of was watching that thinking, He's seeing her like with a hammer and a chisel in a spot that has no place for a hammer and chisel, and and he's just like sitting there, and then she goes, "Crazy it's like, by all means." Yeah, it's like, Jeez, I can't well, you that just happened. ruined my life. Yeah, yeah. Just for it, I thought the woodworking was yeah, fine. It seemed good. good, so A. Yeah, I give that one minus. A. a. Okay, A. Next up is Parks and Recreation, Ron Swanson. Welcome to the Indiana Fine Woodworking Awards, or as I like to call it, Heaven. Nice chair. Corinthian leather, solid mahogany frame with what I believe are hand-cut mortise and tenon joints. Quarter sawn zebra wood joined by floating tenons to the black walnut corner posts. This one is constructed with American cherry wood. Come on, Brandanowitz, relax. Let me make you a canoe. That one had the most technical terminology of anything we saw, and it was all very accurate. Uh, what, why can't I think of Ron Swanson's real name? Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman, yeah. Like, he obviously knows what he's talking about, and he's legit and into it. And yeah, there wasn't a single thing he said in there that made made me even go, what? I wouldn't be surprised oh. if the writers were just like, and here, say something about wood, 100%. and then he fills it I think, in. I think that definitely was probably what, I think that definitely was probably what happened. <laughs> I think that almost certainly <laughs> might have happened. A plus. Great. Yeah. A he plus. built that canoe very fast for... Dan Branowitz, or Brand, whatever, whatever his name is. Brandanowitz? Yeah. Do you think Nick Offerman is maybe watching this? Nick? Are buddy. You, if you're watching. <laughs> it is a stereotyped look at woodworkers. Cranked up version yeah. probably of himself. Right, right, Which right. is funny. And yeah. especially knowing Nick Offerman as the person, it's even funnier. The best thing that we saw. Yeah, Do you, you have any? I have, I have my favorite. Should we say it on the count of three? One, two, two. Three. Breaking, Breaking Bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna after effects that in? Well, maybe we could do this again. Maybe there's some scenes that we missed. You can uh, let us know in the comments which ones you'd what's, like to see. And if this is good, we'll, we will do it again. What's your favorite woodworking scene from a Hollywood movie? <laughs> or TV show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. We have to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>